Hello and welcome on to this instance for on Trust CV. I am Adini Ajishafe. Well, it's getting very, very hot over there in Qatar. Right now, between Ecuador and Senegal, 1-1 one, one is actually, it's been ongoing a match that uh, a lot of Africans are hoping that Senegal will continue to ma maintain that momentum of leading the pack after Ismail Assar scored that goal, but, uh, that penalty. But right now, it's 1-1. One, one. Caicedo actually returned one back for Ecuador. Moses Caicedo actually scored in the 68 minute to equalize for the Ecuadorians. And right now, it's a big one because it mustn't end this way. If it ends this way, Ecuador will actually scale through. Well, for the other one, Netherlands versus uh, Qatar, it's still 2-0 in that encounter. It's ongoing also. Uh, two, two goals coming from Gakpo and also not forgetting the fact that uh, uh, the uh, Netherlands team are really showing why they are top of that particular group. They are giving you updates concerning the games, uh, the matches ongoing right now at the World Cup. And I have in the studio Olawali Peters. Good to have you. Good evening, Adini. Mm. And it's my pleasure to be here again. Yes. Before we go to the studio, uh, Senegal were actually leading the pack 1-0, cuts off uh, the sporting uh, kick score by Ismail Assar. But right now, uh, just <laughs> as we're about to start, Ecuador just snipping in the board by making it 1-1. Okay, um, I'm not surprised. Well, Senegal just scored now. You just have to give that <laughs> update. It's getting very, very interesting. As we speak right now, Senegal just made it 2-1. There's still hope for Africa uh, well, right now as we speak. Senegal, good one. They are trying to at least uh, make sure they qualify in this particular group. Okay, um, I'm not surprised that mm. this is happening. If you watch uh, most of the matches um, for the last 34 days, most of the matches have been won in the second half not in the first half. Mm. So that means a lot is still at stake. Okay, and they still have about 17 or 18 minutes to play, and we don't know the number of time they will give for the uh, extra time. Now mm. we are seeing six minutes, eight minutes, and 10 minutes. So it's going to be a very long evening for the Senegalese team. During the first half, they had about three chances, about three chances that have been three nil mm. against uh, the Ecuador, because they dominated the play throughout the first half before the pressure got to the Ecuador and they committed that foul that led to the penalty scored by uh, Ismail Saha. So I think what they just need to do is to be more disciplined and to concentrate more and communicate more in their defense because that has always been their problem. And like I said in the morning during the show, they've considered five goals and they've scored five goals. So that means scoring goal is not their op is not their problem. They are they are they are having this uh, Mike Tyson tactics. That's okay. I'm not going to defend. Give me the punch. I trust my own punch also. But they shouldn't mm. do that at this stage right now mm. because we really need an African country to take us far. Since the beginning of the World Cup, we had only three countries that have gotten to the quarterfinal and. We are very lucky. Three of them, they are playing currently at Qatar. We are talking about uh, the Cameroon that they qualified uh, in 1990. That was Italian 90. In fact, they defeated Nigeria during the qualifying stage in 1989. That was uh, during the time we lost Samuel Okwaraji. Mm. They qualified. They got to the quarterfinal. Then in 2002 also, we had the same Senegal Senegalese team that they got to the quarterfinal. And also in 2010, the same black star of Ghana, they got to the quarterfinal. But with what we have currently now, I see at least one of them going, getting to quarterfinal, at least worst case scenario, mm. or going beyond the quarterfinal. So they should just be disciplined at the defense because that is what they actually need right now. They need to really concentrate and they should not be playing a defensive game. Not because it is 2 1 now, then let us lay back. lay back and be defending. No, you don't defend. So you have your strength lies in your. Mid, uh, your attacking midfielders and your goal scorer. So make use of that strength that you have without you going back. If you hold back, there's going to be a lot of pressure on you. And don't forget, they have their prolific striker still there. I'm mm -hmm. talking about Valencia of Ecuador, who has scored three goals in the competition currently now. So any opportunity given to him is going to be very injurious to the Ghanaian team. Well, so uh, from the way it is right now, giving you an update concerning Ecuador and Senegal, why the goals were coming in. Well, to let you know that the match is still 2-1 in favor of the Teranga Lions of uh, Senegal. 2-1 there. Kalido Kolibali just added another one as uh, immediately Caicedo uh, put one back for e Ecuador to make it 1-1 after Ismail Assar scored his third kick. Then Kalido Kolibali made it the 2-1. And right now, the African team really, the fans are celebrating, talking about Senegal there. 
Well, it's getting interesting now. It's now 2-1, uh, even though uh, we just have to correct that particular score line. It's no longer 1-1. One, one. It's now 2-1 there. Well, for Netherlands versus Qatar, 2-0. Looking at uh, Gapo Kodi scoring for Netherlands, and you have another one that has to come from uh, another player that scored for them. Well, right now, uh, Netherlands are leading the pack 2-0 against, uh, against Qatar, the host nation. De Jong scoring, Gapo scoring. And for Senegal versus Ecuador, it has been a wonderful one between Ecuador and Senegal. Well, for Ecuador, they've got one back, what's love for Moses, uh, uh, Moses, rather, Moses Caicedo, and you have Kaido Kolibali and Ismail Assa scoring for the Teranga Lions of uh, Senegal. Give me an update in that particular order. Well, while we're looking at this game, uh, fantastic one coming from Senegal, instantly replying, reciprocating by scoring another goal to make that uh, tension to be on Ecuador. And that's what they call a good response in football. So you don't allow the pressure to be on you for more than three, four, five minutes. So the same thing we saw the Black Star of Ghana. They did the same thing yesterday also. Mm. They responded almost immediately. Then also if you watch the game between uh, the Cameroon and also, they got the same response. When bought to their own disadvantage, they considered two goals within two minutes. Mm. So the response, it means a lot. It gives the confidence, it gives the morale to the player that, oh, okay, we'll let this one in, one, one. One, one, a draw, it's not what we are looking for. What we are looking for is a win. So what they really need now is to pile up the pressure because the Ecuadorian also now, they're not going to play a defensive game again. They want to come out. The first half, the first half they have been very technical. They are not coming out with full force. They are trying to see if they can get a draw. But now that they have about 15, 14 minutes left and they are losing 2-1, they know that, oh, we are going out. So they have to come all out. So what the Senegalese team should be doing, and they are very fast also, the Senegalese team, mm. they are very fast. They should just try and make use of one counter-attack and make sure that they seal it. When it is 3-1, take it or leave it, the Equidarian will know that it is over for them. But as it is right now, it's, it's, still, very open. it's still a long... 15 minutes can be like 15 years <laughs> in a game of football. <laughs> and you'll be asking yourself, that, ah, come on. How did you get it wrong? You've been playing for more than... But it's, it's because of the tempo mm. that you are going through. So as far as I'm concerned, I think um, it's a very... But I'm confident that Senegal that will Senegal, scale through. They are going to scale through. Well, hopefully the Teranga Lions will roar against the Ecuadorians. Right now, the match is still ongoing there. 2-1. <laughs> in the park is the Teranga Lions. They are really trying their best to make sure they win this game. They are leading uh, uh, Ismail Assa and Kolibali, Kalido scoring for them. Caicedo also uh, pulling one back for Ecuador. Netherlands 2, Qatar 0, Gakpo and De Jong actually scoring that, those goals. Well, from the way it is right now, if he ends this way, Netherlands, Senegal, they will qualify for the knockout stage. And <laughs> Ecuador and Qatar, the host nation, they will just pack uh, their bag and go back to uh, get $10.5 million for participating. Uh, they are not packing their bags now. They are just, cross, they are just crossing the bridge. They will cross the bridge. They just cross the bridge and go to their respective okay. they, are, they, are the same, they are in the same country. What's the way to go? <laughs> Giving you an update concerning the match between these two, uh, the four nations fighting hard in Group A and B right now. But uh, from the way it is, Group A, we'll be look, uh, actually we'll be looking at Group A right now. Ecuador, Senegal, 77th minute, and it's still 2-1 between the two nations. Uh, they are really fighting hard. Teranga Lions are roaring. Ecuadorians are trying to see if they can put one back, a draw for them, we we'll see them scaling through, but a win for Senegal, we we'll also see them scaling through. So the battle is on between the two countries, while Senegal are leading the pack there. For Netherlands, yes, they've shown class against the host nation, Qatar, scoring two goals, and it's really getting very, very interesting for Netherlands now, the orange uh, boys, as they call them. And now, let's quickly look at the matches, uh, rather, that will be coming up tonight. Matches will also be coming up tonight. We have to quickly look at those fixtures. We have Iran versus USA. We have Wales versus England. This is another battle in Group B. Yeah, another battle and battle of uh, supremacy mm. that goes beyond football. That's the truth. <laughs> you know, when Iran, when Iran, Iran and, faces and USA. Faces USA, you know what happened. And when you have the Wales also against England, England the same thing will happen. So if you look at this mathematically, um, it is practically impossible. For, uh, for Wales to qualify. What do I mean? They are currently having one point, while the, uh, in England, they're having four points. Mm. England is having plus four, while the, uh, the, Wales, the Wales, they are having minus two. So for them to upstage the England, they have to win them 
at least seven, they have to score about six to seven goals. So scoring six to seven goals will give them advantage against the uh, against the England with goal defense. Then we are talking about the the point also. They are having one point currently now, and if they should win England, they are going to have four points. So that means they will be having four points, but in goal difference, they'll be better off the English team. Mm. Then between Iran and US, if US could beat Iran, Iran is having so far. This points. is how it's looking now. Yeah. So like I said earlier. You can see plus four and minus two. Mm. So for, for Wales to win now, what he needs to do is to score at least six on reply goals against England. Mm. So that will give them three points. Three plus one will give them four points. Will take them to the um, top of the table. And England causing the six goal will give them from this plus four will go to minus two. Why they're scoring four, um, about six goals, we give them like plus four. Hmm. So that means they've qualified, okay? Then if you look at Iran and USA, what USA needs to do, not to draw, if they draw against Iran, it's, not, it's still not a good one for them. What they need to do is to win their match by getting the three maximum points, making them five points. So that means US will top the table, then Wales will come second. Hmm. That's the worst case scenario that I don't see happening. What I see happening tonight is the Iranians will likely beat the US, or there will be it will be a draw. Mm. That will give the Iranian four points. Then for the England, they will beat Wales. So I see England topping the it's table, followed by the Iran. And I think uh, US and Wales they can go back and prepare for the next four years. Let's see what happens truly if that particular uh, uh, <laughs> decision will actually happen. Looking at the matches slated for 8 p.m. Uh, tonight, where we give you update, they still 2-1 in favor of Senegal, Teranga Lions, and 2-0 in favor of Netherlands. Uh, well, well, let's uh, do what we normally do by opening our phone live for you to quickly see how good you are, how smart you are about the history of World Cup. We just have to play open our phone lines now. Let's have the phone lines there. You call that number, you tell us your name and where you are calling from. You pick from from number one to six if you are able to get the question in five seconds you get a prize we go to our trivia now just uh, we are expecting our callers there call the number on the screen please stay away from your t uh, tv set and mention your name where you are calling from and let's go on this from number one to six pick a number and remember your name where you're calling from pick a number you answer in five seconds we are actually waiting for our caller there uh we still give you updates concerning the match ongoing between uh ecuador and senegal you have netherland qatar 2-1 in favor of uh, senegal and 2 nil in favor of netherland is still ongoing right now we are talking about the callers there well you have the number on the screen pick question one two six and let's have it uh right now the match is still ongoing well why are waiting for callers to call in to pick a number? Uh, from the way it is, I expect, I really expect uh, uh, Senegal to fight through. It's, it's, getting, it's really getting closer. Yeah, it's not to fight through, it's to hold on. Mm. That's just what it needs to do now. To be strong than ever, to communicate, to have the confidence more than ever. Because this is the time that um, in football, 30 seconds. One minute can change the whole scenario. Mm. Just one kick, just one mistake. So I think their defense currently now, they have to be on top of the situation. And their coach also, I think it needs to look at some, to make some tactical change. What do I mean? Maybe when it is about two or three minutes, it shouldn't just look at the defense also. It should look at someone that can give the defender and the midfielders of the Ecuador a problem, a problem that they won't want to leave their defense or their midfield. Okay, well, sorry to call you short. Sure, we have a caller there. Uh, hello. Hello, good evening. Your name and where you are calling from? Hello. Can we hear you, your name? We can't hear you. Where your name and where you are calling from? From Benway State. Where in Benway and your name, please? Okay, let, oh yeah, pick a number now. <laughs> pick a number from one to six. Number three. There is no eight here. One to six. Number. Number. I can't actually hear you well. Can we? Can you just uh, be more audible now? From question number one to six. Uh, 
Well, it seems uh, it seems we are having uh, little, uh, some uh, audio, uh, audio problem there. Now, quickly, while you are still there, to call us. You can call us, pick a question from one to six. Tell us where you are calling from and also your name. Let's see how smart you are about the World Cup. You get this trivia right, you win something for yourself. We are good one out there. It's still ongoing, the match between Senegal, Ecuador, don't forget the Netherlands. Okay, hello out there. Hello? Hello, can we hear you? Okay, we, are, we can still join us to call and see if you are smart enough about the World Cup history. Question 1 to 6, pick a question, uh, pick a number rather, tell us your name and where you are calling from, while we quickly read the answer, uh, questions to you and you give us answer in five seconds. Well, you were talking about Senegal, mm -hmm. that they need to continue to uh, at least hold on, hold on for yeah. that two one. Well, that's what they need to do right now, and they don't, they don't need to be too defensive, mm -hmm. because once you are too defensive, the, the the pressure will be more are your love from Ogun State. Let's have you. Hello, Ayola. Uh, good evening. Good evening, Ayola from Ogun State. Yeah. Where in Ogun State? Yeah. Ota, Ota. Okay, from Ota. Let's have you pick a number from one to six. Uh, I'm picking number three. Number three. Number three. Listen quite attentively. Who scored Africa first goal? During the ongoing World Cup, <laughs> the first African player to score at this current World Cup in Qatar. Five seconds. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Time is up. Time is up. Ayola from Ogun State. The answer is Andre. Are you? Well, that one is gone. You try your best, but you didn't get it. So question three is gone. We are still waiting for more callers. Uh, I, I actually wanted to mention, uh, but I uh, couldn't uh, get uh, it. <laughs> Probably there's a player called Ah. Uh, ah, there. Yeah, just like last week that we got a player. Wow. wow. <laughs> <laughs> well, good morning there. Yeah. Well, we are actually waiting for your call there. The number is on the screen. Tell us where you're calling from, your name, and pick a number, Christo, uh, number one, two, four, five, and six. Uh, right while we are giving you updates concerning the game. It's almost uh, done now. It's getting closer. Ecuador, Senegal, 2-1. You have uh, scorers there. Ismail Asa, Kalido Kolibali, not forgetting Moise Caicedo. And for Netherlands, you have Gakpo and also uh, the man that actually did it for them. Uh, talking about the young, making it 2 nil for Netherlands while we are waiting for our callers there. If you know you know much concerning the World Cup, pick a number from 1 to four, five, and six. Let's have you on the show. I will call from Ogun State, but I couldn't get the first uh, African scorer in this tournament, which is Andre Ayu. Now, going back to this game, really, I'll be very happy to see Senegal scaling through this. Yes, and we'll all be happy to see them scaling through, but they just need to do the needful. Mm. The needful they need to do is that um, they're not playing for Senegal currently now. They are representing Africa. All Africans, we are supporting and we are with them. So they shouldn't look at themselves, they should look at the continent. And you know the billions of people that reside in the continent of Africa. So our prayer are with them. I will believe they'll make us proud at the end of the game. Okay. We have Abdulmemin from Damaturu. Abdulmemin, good evening. Good evening. Good one. Let's have you. You are calling from Damaturu now. Pick a question. Pick a number from one, two, four, five, and six. Yes, Pick a number yes. from number one, two, four, five, and six. Number two. Number two. Listen carefully. Who scored Nigerian last goal at the FIFA World Cup and in what year? The last goal for Nigeria at the World Cup and what year? Abdulmumin from okay. Damaturu. <laughs> very, very technical question. Abdulmumin, are you there? Okay, I think Abdulmumin actually ran away when he. <laughs> no, let's, let's, let's assume it's, it's, let's it's, assume it's, it's, it's network. network. Okay, Abdulmumin from uh, Damaturu, you try your best, but we couldn't hear you well. You picked the question number two. We are still waiting for callers, but the answer is actually Victor Moses, a 2018 World Cup that took place in Russia. Uh, it was the uh, Nigerian that scored the last goal for uh, this country there. We still have number one, number four, number five, and number six. Well, still giving you updates uh, in the game there. Mohamed, Mohamed from Niger State. Good evening, Mohamed. Yes, uh, pick a quest, pick a number from one. 
four, five, and six. Mm -hmm. Which number are you picking, Hello? Mohammed? Hello. Hello, Mohammed. Yes. yes. Number number what? Hello? Number Hello? which Hello? number are you picking? From number one, four, Hello? five, and six. Number two has been taken. Number two has been taken. Number two. It's, uh, it's gone. Pick another yeah. number. Okay, number three. It's gone. Six. Okay, number six. Uh, okay, let's have you there. How many referees are representing Africa at the ongoing FIFA World Cup? How many comes how many referees? Four. You're close, Four. but uh, <laughs> you're close. <laughs> Seriously, Mohammed, you try, but uh, your guess uh, well, is not as good as mine. Actually, it's six. Well, from the way it is, Mohammed, good one there. We have, uh, before we go, maybe you can still pick one more before we wrap it up. Our time is running out. If you can still have one more caller to pick a question in our trivia, so that if you pick a question, right, a number from number one, Number five and number four. Number one, number four, and number five. Call us. The number is there on the screen. And then quickly we wrap it up because our time is going. Well, Senegal seems to be coasting home. Still 2-1 in this particular game. 2-1, Netherlands 2-0. Uh, right now, 90 minutes, 93 minutes. Uh, well, from the way it is, it's still Sa, Kolibali, Gakpo, De Jong scoring those goals. Yeah, um, it's not over until it is over. Mm. And if the match is ending 60, 66 minutes or 67 minutes, mm. it means they still have about three or four minutes okay. more. Okay, we have, I uh, think we should be our last caller, Thomas from Lagos. Good to have you, Thomas. Good evening. Hello, Thomas. Are you there? Hello, good evening. Okay, good evening, Thomas. Let's have you pick no from number one, number four, and number five. Number one. Number one. Listen attentively. The first country to qualify for round of 16 and the first country to be eliminated from the group stage at the ongoing FIFA World Cup. Two in one. Five seconds. The first country to qualify for round of 16. Qatar will be said. Qatar will be said. To, that is to be eliminated. <laughs> to qualify. To qualify for, for knockout stage. Can you give us that? Oh, Thomas, almost there. You got one out of two, but you didn't get the second one. The first coin to qualify. Yes, you got the first coin to be eliminated. The first coin to qualify. Which country? Thomas from Lagos. Finally, Thomas is off. <laughs> well, the answer is France. France actually did first. They qualified first for the round of 16, uh, rather, yes. Uh, and they have Qatar to the, uh, first being eliminated from this uh, competition. Two more minutes to go. Maybe you can be lucky just to give a space to one more caller before we wrap it up. Well, giving you an update there. It's still 2-1 and 2-0 for Senegal and Netherlands. They are really coasting home. And we've been giving you updates while we're giving you some question trivia. Uh, pick a question. Uh, we have uh, at least uh, two more. Question four, question five. If you can pick right and uh, answer right, who knows? Maybe you can go with something very, very handy. Well, before we go, uh, this game is really coasting home for Senegal and also for Netherlands. 2 1 still and 2 0 still. Yeah, for the Senegalese team, I'm not going to celebrate until the final whistle. Oh, until the final <laughs> whistle. 90 oh second minutes now. 90 second minutes, and we have 95 minutes there. The two games, are, matches rather, are really getting uh, winding up now. 2 1 Senegal, 2 0 Netherlands. Well, we're still waiting. Uh, if you can be lucky enough to answer one more question before we go right now. Well, uh, it seems uh, all our callers are afraid to get the answer to the <laughs> Well, it's like the... If you know much about the World Cup, giving you update concerning this game, uh, games that are taking place over there in Qatar, Ecuador 2, uh, uh, rather, Ecuador 1, I beg your pardon, Senegal 2, and you have Netherlands 2, Qatar, Neil, Gapo. Okay, Ayola from Ota, you'll be the last caller on the show for tonight. Quickly, pick a question between four and five. Five. Question five, right? Five. Okay, which player got the first red card 
which player got the first record in the ongoing FIFA World Cup in Qatar? Yeah, which player got the first red card at the ongoing World Cup in Qatar? Five seconds. Ayola from Ota. Ayola, well, let me give you the answer. His name is a goalkeeper, Wayne Hennessy. Well, you tried, but uh, you couldn't get it. Wayne Hennessy. <laughs> yeah, um, That's it there. He got a red card against and uh, when they play against mm. Iran, and it, it ended 2 0 in favor of Iran. So I think, uh, is it that people doesn't like, they don't want to see what our price looks like? <laughs> or, or what? At least somebody should get this right. <laughs> yeah, they should get this right. Well, we have to go now. We have to go now. The match is ending and uh, full time. Congrats. Well, for Netherlands, they actually topped that group. They actually finished their game for Ecuador, Senegal, 94th minute. They are leading the park with 2-1. That will be it on 360 Sport for this evening. Tomorrow is another day. Wonderful work with Olaoli Peters. Thank you very much. It's my pleasure being here, Mr. Sport. Is <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. And I appreciate you for this uh, uh, kind guest you're there. Well, good morning, Bev. Just have to go now. Well, sport is always business and fitness. I am Adeni Ajishafe. Thanks for watching.